actually if you don't know what's going on it's been going on here since on monday and guess what's going on the international youth conference 2022 um, as much as it's done annually you are still welcome today is the day four of the annual youth convention guess what the theme is it is shine forth but guess what today we are going to be having people who come here and talk to us about what it has been so far how it has been the expectations the highlights just so that we can know what's going on how it's going you know when you know how we said the youth is you know the pillar of the church i want you know you to feel the energy especially for those of you that are sitting at home and just watching from work or somewhere you are but my advice to you run down to rccj run down to redemption camp and get part of the show but before i do that let's have some people on the red carpet hello and good afternoon hello and good afternoon uh good afternoon what's your name Shagun Denu is my name. Okay. So you're from what province? Uh, province 27. How long have you been coming for the youth convention? Um, this is my second time. Second time? Yeah. So since when have you been here? Mm, I, I could not remember. This was 2012 that I was last, so, year, last time. From the very beginning of this particular year's convention, when did you get to camp? I got to camp on Monday. On Monday? Yeah. So you've been here since on Monday. Today is the day for what has been the highlight for you so far? My, my highlight was um, purpose discovery, mm. you know, and shining force uh, is like somebody discover his purpose. Mm. So now, in other words, that's what you can say shine forth means to you. Yes. Now, for example, it's like when somebody is in darkness and that the person needs the light. Mm. Now, when, when the light shines on that person, people are able to see the person. Mm. You know that, that the person does not, it's, the person have a potential. It's like you hide somebody inside a, 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 a container. That person is there. Wow. People will not be able to see the person. person. But immediately you remove that container. You can look at that container as a, a, like a darkness. You know? I understand what you're saying. Thank you so much. But all in all, yeah. if you were to actually point out three things that you've learned so far from this convention, I mean, today's day four, yeah. how exactly will you describe it? Um, I just, number one, I should find God. Hmm. If I find God, next thing is to find myself, to know myself. Then also know my purpose in life, my place in life. So if, if, I, if we're able to know these three, these three prerequisites, so I'll be able to move on to the next level. Wow, thank you so much. So if you were to tell people that are to still at home, what are you going to tell them? Do you want them to come to camp? Do you want them, what exactly do you want to say to them? Um, I'm, I'm going to tell them that you need to come to this camp and experience a purple divine, something like, like a um, paradigm shift. Now that you can change your mentality, can change you spiritually, that you can become the person that God wanted you to become. Thank you so much for joining us on the red carpet. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we'll still be having a lot of people join us on the red carpet. We also have another gentleman here today to actually tell us what it has been like. Hello and good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing fine. Please, what's your name? My name is Steven Gabriel. You're from what province? I'm from province 26, August 8. So how long have you been? Province 8. Hmm. How long have you been here? I'm being here past Sunday. This is on Sunday. Yes. So since you've been here since on Sunday, can you tell me what are the highlights for you so far since when you've been here? What are the highlights that I'm used? Yes. I'm used with a type of Allah, singing, I do, I do all of that things, working with God, do many things that I have done that I cannot explain for God. So since mm. this is day four. If you were to say, you know, the theme for this year is Shine Force. What exactly would be your definition for Shine Force? Uh, my definition for Shine Force is that for me to go all over the world to preach the gospel, to tell about people about Lord, about love, about sharing together, to speak to people, to preach together, to speak to people, to preach about the Lord of God, about His life. Many things are so far. As well. uh, wow, that's very nice. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. All right, there you have it. 
yo we are still here live on the rccg red carpet i mean right now we're going to be having a lady it's very important so we're going to be having a lady with us here on the red carpet hello and good afternoon hi good afternoon i like your smile oh, thank you i love yours too thank you so can we get to meet you oh my name is testimony dosu yes you're from where I'm from lagos state but i agree Okay, so what problem is, are you a, like, do you attend Redeem? Oh, because I know that some people are here that do not attend Redeem. I'm a bona fide Redeem member. Wow, she's even showing me a hand. But <laughs> if you don't know what's going on, come here so I can see. All in all, yeah. So you, how long have you been here? I came on Monday. So today's the day four. Yeah. So if I were to ask you in one word or in a few words, what would you say Shine Forth is? Shine. Shine Forth is, if you go to China without God going with you, you will not shine. <laughs> So if you were to actually say, tell me the highlights or those that are not here, what would you say your highlight has been since you've been here on Monday? You know, for each day there are different highlights. For some for Monday, some people say it was a parade. For some Tuesday, some people said it was a word. Yesterday, some people said it was a prayers. So what exactly was it for you? And I want you to tell me for each day, day one, what was the highlight? Day two, day three, and day four now. Okay, day one, as when we had the African praise. So it was awesome because my people from Baesa, they sang those Jim Jim songs, you understand? So you are from Baesa, yeah, because but you say in Lagos. No, I'm a missionary daughter, so I don't have a place I stay. I love that. Exactly. So I enjoyed the African praise okay. on, on, uh, on Tuesday. Tuesday. It was awesome. On Wednesday, on Wednesday Pastor Chisha Selman was giving us, like, I was feeling, my head was coming together. I wanted, <laughs> yes, like, yes, Jesus is real, like, he yeah. wanted to know more. Yesterday, yeah. Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo, come on, the man. So about it. Yes, <laughs> it was like something that is dead in me is rising because this man was talking, he was bringing life again. And when Pastor Shola Omoye was talking today, oh no, boom. <laughs> so I can see that you already have your highlights. So yeah. what exactly would you say right now is what you think or what exactly you've been thought or more like an awakening that you have that you want to share with the world right now? Hmm. What I want to share with you is <laughs> if you don't have Jesus, you won't shine. Hmm. If you regret having Jesus, man, you are regretting the biggest thing mm. because Jesus is the best thing. He's the one that is going to complete you. He's the one that is going to make you shine. He's the one that will hold you and make you stand even among the storm. Mm. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining us. So there you have it. If I were you, I will make sure that I am tuning and I understand what's happening. Hello and good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? I'm very fine, ma'am. Wow, this uncle is quite making me short. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can we get to meet you? Yeah, my name is Jesu Tofumi. Jesu Tofumi. Wait, oh, Jesu Tofumi. Is it only you? <laughs> now, wow. But all in all, how have you been? I'm very and good. How are you? I'm very good. I'm so, very how long have you been here? I've been here since on Monday, though. Since on Monday? Basically, I live on count. <laughs> ah, so you are one of We know our people. <laughs> all in all. So, what has been the highlights for you so far? Uh, the highlights, the program has actually been very nice. As in, as in I'm very, <laughs> seriously, although coming to the drama, when the first during the that should be the on first Tuesday, drive, yeah. the, first the first drama because I'm actually a drama person, but when it got uh, those that the drama actually got my attention. Hmm. So so as in everybody was shouting, I was actually literally speaking in tongue where I was because very short, simple, but well, the yes. message, the concept was very very good, mm -hmm. and the preaching and everything is as in bringing light to the understanding of shining forth. It was very very speaking good. Speaking of what you just said, what would you say shine forth means to you right now with the knowledge that you have so far? Hmm. Shining forth is actually finding your purpose in God. Mm. So That's without without finding your purpose, you can't shine. Mm. Yeah, so do you think you found your purpose now? Yeah, still finding. <laughs> I love that response. I like the fact that it's still shining. But all in all, I want you to actually tell me, yeah, right now, what exactly is that particular thing you want to shine? You want to actually show people that, okay, well, this is exactly what I learned during the youth convention. So can you what exactly is it that you want to share right now with the world that okay this is so far this is what they've taught me during this youth conversion this is what i've been able to get this is what i've my understanding has been enlightened what exactly do you want to do okay let me uh, uh coming from the, what we are this afternoon the I, one thing i got to understand is that a lot of people out there they want to become as in those who are higher than them like want to be like others yes. but getting to understand the message like you are more of yourself 
that who God says you are. You can't live the way other people live. You can't look at another person's wishes and look at your time. So I've got to understand that there's more within you that God has put in you. So you have to like find yourself, find God and find yourself because finding God is like finding yourself. So my advice to them is that they should sit with God to find themselves so that they can shine from there, not looking at another person because literally your timeline is different from that person and you can't experience life the way they do. True. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was actually very insightful. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on the red carpet. So you heard from JC Tofumi telling us how he's going to shine the light. We have another beautiful lady. Hello and good evening. Good evening, Ma. How are you? I'm good. It's your smile for me though. Hi, oh, yes. <laughs> your, your smile is really shining for you. Yes. So. so what's your name? My name is Odunfari Chiyomide. Odunfari? Rachel. Oh, I am Rachel. Rachel. Wow. So how long have you been here? I came on Wednesday yes, night. Today. Yes. So how has it been for you so far? It has been so powerful. Like it was very much powerful. I can't just express my feelings. So is this your first time attending the International Youth Conference? No. I attended last year. So what was the thing for last year? I forgot to do <laughs> I like the fact that you didn't like. But all in all, if with the knowledge you have from yesterday night and today, which we just finished an, another session, what would you describe or what would you say Shine Forth is? Shine Forth for me is a way of moving forward. It's also a way of shining bright, brighter in all areas, boundaries, space, time, and every, many others that I can't. So, you came yesterday, what has been the highlight for you so far? My highlight for me is relocation. It's not an achievement. Meaning that you are trying to say Jack is not an achievement. No, it's not an achievement. <laughs> it's an experience that one ex like it's just for you to experience. Yes. Yeah, so glad to be here we're still live we're still here on the rccg red carpet and guess what we're still having people join the red carpet also joining me is this gentleman hello and good afternoon hello hi how are you it's a pleasure meeting you I'm and you too i'm doing good and so you so can we get to meet you okay my name is marcus friday okay. from rivers province 16 region 33 Wow, Region 33. So are you like a youth coordinator? Yes, I'm a youth president of my area. I actually asked you because you look the part. Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay. So, how long have you been here? Okay, we actually came here Monday. And so now Monday of tonight has actually been a wonderful time in God's presence, I must tell you. And we've actually been exposed to a lot of teachings and training in the course of this youth convention tag, Shine Forth. So, to you right now, what would you say Shine Forth is? Okay, Shine Forth has to do with us being able to bring out the light of God in our lives and then radiate it to others and able to make impact in our world. You know, we, we have already been called out of darkness into the marvelous light of God. So we are encouraged to go out there and shine forth this glorious light of God in our lives. Wow. I'm glad that you have all this knowledge. Since you've been here since on Monday, I need you to tell me what exactly were the things that stood out for you for each day, from day one to day four. So you need to tell yeah. me what exactly stood out for you from day one, day two, day three, and now day four. That's great indeed. Of course, we are, from River State, we arrived here on Monday pretty late. So I think on Monday was actually the parade yeah. where the various uh, provinces and uh, region actually did their parade and did their... Uh, parading course of the presentations. Yeah. I think I wasn't part of that. Oh. But on Tuesday we had a wonderful time. And on Tuesday one of the things that I took home was that I I'm already have a light in me. Mm. And I need to understand that I need to do a self-discovery 
of a certain area for which I should shine forth and then be able to bring it out. And then on Wednesday, being yesterday, I was able, I sat under the tutelage of Bisia Conde, where it taught, it taught us about um, 36. A 360 degree leadership, all around leadership where we lead from within, up there, and then down, and then uh, on our level as well in the cadre of leadership. And then I got to understand that for us to actually become this person that we aspire to be, then we should be able to lead. And of course, you cannot give what you don't have. So, in order for you to actually lead effectively, you must have learned and then be able to relate with others. And then I got to understand when you're leading at your level, you have to apply the complete. So you're not competing with those you're leading, but you're completing them. What does that mean? That means for everyone, there is something that is missing. You have to find that and then be able to complete them. So as you are, as you are right here now, there's just actually something that you actually need to be completed with. Hence, what leaders do or does at that time is to complement your efforts. That's so we don't compete good. in this kingdom, but rather we complement each other. That's very, very good. I'm glad that you've learned all this so far. So many that you've always been listening and you've been partaking a part, I mean, part of everything that is going on here. So I'm sure that this is not your first time at the no, 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 youth no, no, convention. So what was the theme for last year's convention? Let's play a little bit. Okay, what is what? The theme for last year's convention. Uh, am I forgetting that right now? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's exceeding expectations. Exceeding expectation. Yes, and last year we are told that there is an expectation required of us and we have to surpass that level. Exactly. And, and when we exceed expectation, it means that we've gone beyond the limit. And that was what last year team was all about. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you so much for joining us on the red carpet. It yeah. was always a, it's always a pleasure being here. And also, there you have it. I mean, you already told you what exactly happened from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But guess what? But one person doesn't know it at all. One person doesn't give you the experience. We still have other people here on the red carpet as well. Another beautiful lady is coming to join me here. Hello and good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. You? Smile now. Jesus loves you <laughs> so how are you i'm good so what's your name my name is favor your name is favor favor you're from what province or region i'm from region 32 how long have you been here on yesterday yesterday just yesterday yes. so what exactly have you learned so far as the definition of shine forth shine forth means to stand out and to be known amongst people Mm. So to you right now, what has been the highlight for you so far during the course of this convention? That you don't need to relocate for you to shine forth. Mm. You can be where you are and shine forth. And shine forth there. So how long have you been coming for the youth convention or is this your first time? Yes. So how has it been for you so far? It has been nice. Only? Only nice? <laughs> only nice? And no, it has been great. It has been life changing. Mm. That has been very good. Would you come next year? Yes, sure. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you'll come? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, so we're still here. We're still letting people come tell us what exactly they've learned so far. Joining me is another young man. Hello and good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much. I like your track. Uh, thank you very much. So, what's your name? My name is Adibayo Samway. Simon. Samway. But you, you called me Sam K. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, how, how long have you been here? Yeah, since on Monday, I, so I came from Abuja, so I came here around uh, 10 p.m. So since on Monday, I've been here, so that is it. So before I even go further, is this your first time attending the youth convention? Yes, of course. I'll be coming for other convention, but for the youth, this is my first time. So what exactly made you say, okay, this year, I'm coming for youth convention? Yes, I love the question. Where I have determined that I will come. Even despite a lot of things, I was deciding that, okay, I won't come, but the Spirit said, oh, you have to go, because I, as I came, I was able to experience a lot of things and I overwhelmed that yes, God is going to do his great thing in my life. So, so that what exactly is shine forth for you? Um well God has done a lot of things for me, at least in the aspect of this program. They said okay and shine forth and it has already showed who I am and what I'm going to do and has been the best in me, the ability of what I can do. So and has already determined that oh, if I'm going back where I'm going, I'll let people know that yes, this is the great experience of gather from this program. So 
you've yes is on Monday. Yes. So what exactly has been the major highlights for you? Wow, 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 wow. The major highlight has been the two preachers that came that and Pastor uh, Matthew Ashimolulu and uh, Ben Apostle Sule the uh, Sima Joshua. So at least I've explained a lot in and I learned about how you speak in Holy Ghost. You know, as a youth you have to be very vibrant in praying when you are when you are down, when you don't pray, you see that the enemy comes to attack you. But when you are a youth, you know that this is a prayer force man. So it really helps you. So it has really built me to be a strong man in, in the work of God. So yeah, and I'm, I'm glad awesome. that you've been able to share your experience with us. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Red Carpet. You heard it. People are here receiving the Holy Ghost. People are getting baptized in the Holy Ghost. People are, you know, expanding and shining forth and getting new orientation and understanding. Joining me is another beautiful lady. Hello and good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. It's your smile for me. <laughs> so, what's your name? My name is Grace. Grace. You're from what province? Um, I'm from Region 32. Region 32. How long have you been in class? From a Monday. I've so, been here since a Monday. Since a Monday. Wow. So, you've been here since a Monday. Let me, uh, so, let me just ask you this question. What has been your major highlight from the very beginning of this program? I've liked the, pro the program so far. I've also liked Apostle Joshua Selman's program. And I liked Pastor Shola's program today, which, talk which talk talked about building our confidence. And I also learned about not being stagnant, that you must move from your, yes, from your, from a particular place to another higher place. So now, what is Shine Fort to you? It's like moving forward, like, Moving forward and shining the light. Shining the light. It's fine. It's okay for you to actually put it that way, but I'm sure that you have more. But all in all, all I'm trying to say right now is do you feel like if you come next year, do you, if I, let me ask you, do you want to come next year? Yes, I would love to come next year. So this year, have you been to the youth convention before? So, what exactly was that turning point that you said, okay, this year we're coming for the youth convention? I didn't get to. Why exactly did you change your mind for coming to the youth convention this year? I didn't want to come before, but I, I, I was encouraged by my siblings. They told me to come, so I came. So how has it been? It has been very good. I've learned a lot of things. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today on the red carpet. Yes, we also have another beautiful lady. She would be joining us here on the red carpet. Hello and good afternoon hello and good evening evening how are you i'm fine please smile now <laughs> smile please jesus is you know is in control so yes. what's your name i'm jumbo gloria jumbo gloria so you're from what province or region region five province one wow so how long have you been here like when i came yes I came on monday so you've been here since on monday and today is already Thursday. So what exactly would you say stood out for you during the course of all these days? Well, this is not my first time of coming for the youth convention. I must say this is an exceptional one because with the team shining forth and I believed and I want to, I believe I have come to receive my healing through shining forth. It has been so impactful. So what exactly would you say shining forth is to you? To me, I'll say shine, shining forth is breaking forth, breaking out of every limitation of every sickness and infirmity. That's very good. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Red Carpet. Yes, so there you have it. Another definition from another person today. Guess what? We still have great people, and this is another gentle man. Hello and good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Please, what's your name? My name is Otason Yokpeyemi. Okpeyemi. You're from what province? I'm from Ogun Province 26. So, before I even go further, is this the first time you're attending the youth convention? Uh, this is the first time I'm coming live, but I used to attend like virtual okay. from, from home. Wow. I used to. So what exactly made you change your mind? Okay, this year I'm coming. Okay, well actually it's not that I don't want to come, but because of school, so uh, I'm in holiday. Yes. So that was why I was opportunity to be to around. Be around yeah. 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 So how long have you been here? I, I came on Tuesday. On Tuesday. So Tuesday. what exactly has been the highlights for you so far? Well, uh, it's, this year's convention is power-packed and I, I think um, 
financially uh, during the entrepreneurial training uh, my eyes were open to so many things i can be a christian and still make money yeah. so and also spiritually and i thank god because before i don't speak in tongues but during today's i was able to be impacted Glory. and, and uh, shine your lights so, now <laughs> <laughs> so Only thank you very much. So, yes, I'm happy for you. I'm very happy for you. How do you feel? Well, I feel uh, I feel great, and I feel I'm already shining. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. But all in all, you've experienced, you are one of the people that even just came out, just come out, I jack other people's blessing. But all in all, I want you to actually tell those watching at home that just tell them something that might convince them or that will convince them about what exactly you've learned so far during this program. Okay, well, during this program, I've learned that uh, shining forth, it means it's, it's, it's a kind of, it's a way for you to move from darkness. So, and when you move from darkness, you know, you have clarity, you understand what you are doing, and then you even work in line with the purpose of God. Because according to uh, one of the ministers that minister, uh, the pastor that preached yesterday, uh, Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, so he talked about that being a light helps you to attract attention. Mm -hmm. So if you know you want to attract attention, you want people to know you, you want to shine, you need to come to this convention and also experience the light you are experiencing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. There you have it. Another person and just got filled with the Holy Ghost. I mean, is it just me or I feel like there's just something very different about this year's convention. People are there basking in joy and then they are growing and they are glowing and then they are praying in tongues, they are understanding things and then you are still there. All and all, we have other people joining us on the red carpet. Hello and good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. You know I was smiling at you so like, like very much. Why? your smile oh my gosh <laughs> the, my smile is shiny shining, shining folks yeah, shining very well. <laughs> but all in all let me get to meet you what's your name um i'm run organe carry manuela okay so how long have you been here i've been here since monday so, no wonder your eyes are shining very well shine, it has to shine <laughs> But all in all, is this your first time at the youth convention? Yes, my very first time. So would you come next year? Mm, by God's grace. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to think about it? That time was just supposed to be, oh yes. By God's grace, sincerely, the accommodation, the feeding and everything. Especially the ministers, they've been awesome, sincerely. So I can been. see that you have so many things that you have actually seen that has actually yes. won your heart. Yes. But all in all, what are those things that have become, you know, that, that actually stood out for you during the course of this program? Sincerely, I enjoyed Apostle Joshua Selman's message and Mommy's message. Like, mm. there were some things he said, areas at which we need to know in order for us to actually shine forth. And then I understood that it doesn't just have to do with discovering yourself. There's a part of you that is still yet to be discovered, and it can only be gotten through God's alignment. Mm. So, so now to you, what does it mean to shine forth? To shine forth means to actually do what God wants you to do and His definition of success. Mm -hmm. Another one. Say it again so that people are talking about yeah, very well. To shine forth for me this season is to do what God wants you to do and to define God's definition of success in your own life. So if I were to ask you right now, how exactly do you plan on shining forth this light? To actually work in God's plan for me. Sincerely, it's no longer my will but God's will. I love it. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so you understand it's happening. We also have another young man joining us today on the red carpet. Hello and good evening. All right, good evening. How are you, sir? I'm fine. What's your name, sir? My name is Akishanya Oluwa Shagun Joshua. Wow. So you're from what province? I'm from province 2, Ondo province 2. Is this your first time at the youth convention? Yes, of course. This is my first time. So will you come next year? Of course. It, it has <laughs> been an awesome experience here so, at the Redemption City. Yes. How long have you been here? I've been here since on Monday. Since on Monday? Yes. So what exactly was that message or the highlights or that particular thing that just stood out for you during the course of this convention? Well, that's, there are many actually, but then I will just mention a few of them. Uh, the last speaker that I spoke, that I actually teach on send, uh, uh, Shine Forth, he, he spoke about that uh, Shine Forth actually means we manifesting the will of God in our lives. And then this will must be manifested in time, in space, and in the place. So these are the three categories that we must actually shine forth. That shine forth is not just the beginning, but the manifestation of God's will in our lives. That we must always be at the center 
of his will. That it doesn't matter the location, maybe you are in Nigeria, you are in China, you are in US, wherever you are, depending that you are the center of God's will, mm -hmm. definitely you are shining forth. So what exactly does shine forth mean to you personally now? Personally, shine forth means manifestation of God's will, idea, and the purposes for my life. Mm -hmm. So do you think you found any of that? During the course of this program, that I've been able to. Discover. Have you been able? Yes, have you been able to discover any of those things? Definitely, definitely, I've been able to discover so myself. Now you feel that like you have an assignment. Of course, I feel I've having an assignment of going into the world, proclaiming the name of the God in every areas and in every place I found myself, and declaring the will and the purpose of God upon the surface of the earth. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Yes, we also have more people coming to join us on the red carpet. Hello and good afternoon. Hello and good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm how are you? I'm fine. What's your name? I'm Emmanuel Ilya. Emmanuel? Emmanuel Ilya. Alright, so how long have you been here? Um, I'm, I've been here since Monday. Since so Monday? Yes, ma'am. Is, is this your first time attending the youth convention yep. i'm so glad it's my first time attending this program here in redemption camp i'm so like i'm privileged to be among the so people so how has it been for you so far wow well, it's been amazing since on, since on monday that i've been here i've seen the glory of god in this place and the men of god that god has been using to touch lives in this place they are they're so remarkable the anointing of god is really in their, on their lives so um i thank god for that it's a great thing so what exactly does shine forth mean to you? Um, shining forth is radiating the glory of God, like knowing God. When you know God, you begin to radiate the glory that is in Him through you. Because um, the Bible said that we, we, are, we, are, we are gods, hmm. that ye are gods. So like our Father in heaven, we are, God, we, we are His Son, so we too are gods. So we need to radiate the glory that is in the Father that the world will see the light and they will glorify the Father in heaven. That's very good. So, all in all, how exactly do you feel towards the youth convention right now? Wow. Um, what I feel towards the youth convention is... The do you feel like you should have, oh, I should have known this earlier. Do you feel like, oh, I should have been coming for the others? How exactly do you feel? Yes. <laughs> like, you know what is in my mind? Like, I just feel exactly like this, but it's just that the opportunity to come for the past ones didn't come. But this one, I said I'm not going to miss it. And God helped me. When I came, I know that youths have been touched so greatly because I saw the vibrant, the when the sections that that was led the prayer section and all that i saw the the zeal in them i saw i have the zeal too like i'm using myself as an example like the zeal was in me yeah so it was great thank you so much thank you for sharing your experience with her thank you so much thank you thank you so much so there you have it we're still taking people yeah on the right carpet. I mean, if you're wondering, this is RCCG Radio. I was still taking people here on the red carpet. Hello and good evening. Hi, good evening. I, I smile now. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, can we get to meet you? Okay, my name is Okechuko okay, Amara Chuku Kara. Amara Chuku. Yes. What if I tell you that you don't, you don't look evil? And they have had you before. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> all right. So, how long have you been here? Um, since Monday, but I came like in the evening. Yeah to do my registration and everything. Although I was tired, but I followed the whole, um, in, yeah, yeah. That so what exactly has been the highlights for you so far? Um, everything. <laughs> but yes, seriously, I learned right from the beginning and, and all the, the praises, the teachings and everything. When Apostle preached and P. Daniel and the rest of, even today, everything has been amazing. I remember the, um, should I say, phrase that the man of God um, told us um, or, or um, enlightened us about yesterday that the devil cannot stop us and uh, he can't fight it and there's nothing he can do about it. Yes, whatever the Lord has started to finish. True, very correct. But all in all right now, what exactly would you describe or would you say shine forth means to you? Okay, shine forth means um, coming forth and manifesting, manifesting the glory of God in any or every area that the Lord has put you, the platform he has given you, that is what it means. So are you going to shine this light? Yes, so. How do you want to do it? <laughs> I'm starting today, so um, 
maybe in the ministry that he has called me into, like singing or any other ministry, sure. I'll shine, shine first. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, so you see people are actually getting to find their purpose, actually getting to know what particular aspect of their life they need to shine the light. Hello and good evening. Good evening, ma. Come closer now, don't bite. Good evening, good evening ma. Good evening, ma. What's your name? I'm a chef Temidayo. Temidayo. Temidayo is from what province? Province 12. Province 12. How long have you been here? Since Monday. Since on Monday? Yes. So, since you've been here since on Monday, what exactly are those things that stood out to you or for you in the course of this convention? That was supposed to sell man preaching. Okay. That was two days ago and yesterday. Yes. So, so wonderful. So, what exactly can you say shine forth means to you? Shine forth means means practically everything to me like our glory should shine forth, God should stand on our behalf and everything concerning us should just shine. So how has the experience been for you so far? Wonderful. Wonderful. Is that all you're going to tell me? Wonderful. It's been great, it's been marvelous, miracles has been happening, signs and wonders and we expect much more. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining the red carpet so there you have it she said our own experience has been wonderful it has been glorious she's been shining fat but we still have more ladies coming hello and good evening hello good evening what's your name i'm favor how are you i'm good i can see the favor of the lord is really there <laughs> <laughs> so what's your name I said your name is favor yeah, yeah. yeah so how long have you been here I've been around since Monday. Since Monday? Yeah. Wow, that's very good. So, since you've been here since Monday, can you tell me what exactly you've been up to? What exactly are those things that stood out to you during the course of this convention? Um, I'll say I came here first to experience God and I was not... My expectations were met. Hmm. It has been so wonderful since Monday from the parade to the sermons we have been having them back to back like ah god refresh like you know your matter yeah ah, to, come let me talk to you man. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your definition of shine forth of shine forth just illuminate break forth just bring out that hidden stuff within you show the world that this is what we are up to show them christ because that's what we preach and that's what we are made of mm. thank you so much thank you so much for joining us on the red cup here yeah. So there you have it, people of the Most High. We are here and we've taken so many people. They've come to share their experiences with us. They've come to tell us whether exactly what's happening. If you're wondering what today is, today is the day four of the annual youth convention with the theme Shine Forth. My name is C-W-E-F-E-H. My name is Sifa. You are still listening and still streaming. Guess what? RCCG Radio. And guess what you're listening to? The annual youth convention. But before I do that, remember that today is the only communion service as well. My advice is if you cannot be here you know what to do stream it online make sure that you're part of the blessings god's hand is not too small to reach you wherever you are till we come your way and i'll advise you to stay close and make sure that you are getting to understand everything that comes out today from our men of god's mouth have a fantastic day